The fallout continues following Wednesday's attack on the U.S. Capitol building. There have been some calls for President Trump to resign, and Democrats have begun laying the groundwork for impeachment. Here's ABC's Faith Abube. President Trump facing growing outrage following Wednesday's attack on the U.S. Capitol building. Twitter cutting off the president's account, quote, due to the risk of further incitement of violence. Democrats threatening to impeach the president for a second time, accusing him of, quote, willfully inciting violence against the government. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi speaking out in an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes. Sadly, the person who's running the executive branch is a deranged, unhinged, dangerous President of the United States, uh, but he has done something so serious uh, that there should be prosecution against him. President-elect Joe Biden leaving the decision up to Congress. The quickest way that that will happen is us being sworn in on the 20th. Even some in the president's own party calling for his resignation. Republican Senator Lisa Mikowski in an interview saying, quote, I want him out. He has caused enough damage. Others calling for the 25th Amendment to be invoked. All indications are that the president has become unmoored, not just from his duty, or even his oath, but from reality. It's Meanwhile, law enforcement combing through all social media posts, surveillance video, and cell phone data, and receiving thousands of tips after releasing Bolo posters. Uh, there are a myriad of, of laws that can be, federal laws that can be utilized in, in cases like this. Firearms offenses crossing state lines, explosives, of course, crossing state lines. So far, 13 people have been charged in federal court. Richard Barnett photographed with his feet on Speaker Pelosi's desk, facing federal charges including unlawful entry and theft of public property. He's now turned himself in to authorities in Arkansas. Authorities are also looking for this man, accused of planting pipe bombs near the RNC and DNC headquarters. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington. And Wednesday's historic events, along with Democrats recently gaining control of the Senate, is forcing the Republican Party to figure out where it goes next. That was the question posed at the RNC's annual winter meeting in Florida Friday. RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel urging Republicans to largely stay the course, while Kentucky Senator Rand Paul wanted to persuade a return to the traditionally fiscally conservative ideology. A Republican strategist agrees and says the GOP needs to get back to its roots in order to pick up seats in two years. They just became the party of Donald Trump. That's no longer sustainable for them for self-evident and obvious reasons. They will drop back to be the party of fiscal restraint, fiscal conservatism, and that will serve them well. President Trump did speak at the event, not in person, but in a pre-taped two-minute long message played earlier this week. That tape is not being shared with the public.